The body of the late Kisoroman Member of Parliament, Sarah Mateke, has been laid to rest at her ancestral home in Bugahe village, Nyakabingu Parish, Chahi Sub County, Bufumbira County, Kisoro District with a seven gun salute. The casket containing her remains was lowered into the grave at 5.50 p.m. on Thursday. Sarah Mateke passed away from a heart attack on Saturday shortly after being admitted to Mengo Hospital in Kampala. During the send-off ceremony, John Kamara Nizaymana, chairperson of the Kisora Leaders Forum, who doubles as the Member of Parliament for Bufumbira North, introduced Ms. Ruth Nyuraneza Mateke to Dr. Chris Bariomonsi, the vice chairperson of the National Resistance Movement and our empathy for the Western Region and the Minister of Information, Communication, Technology and National Guidance as the sole candidate chose by Bufumbira. To succeed the lead Saramatek, who was the State Minister of Defense in charge of veteran affairs. You just look at those people, so we say, can be comfortable that it's not going to come here for another by election. Western region, my role as a sort of district leaders forum, chairman of members of parliament, patron of the district council. The patron of United Border Borders Association, <laughs> the patron of uh, 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 the chairperson Nero C3, the patron of uh, the urban leaders uh, of UNATO and the other men organizations. Kamara handed over Miss Niraneza to Dr. Barrio Monsin who later introduced her to the Vice President of Uganda, High Excellency, retired Major Jessica Lupo. Kamara informed Vice President Alupo and Minister Chris Wadiomons that Kisoro leaders do not want any confusion regarding by-election as they have anonymously endorsed Ms. Nyuraneza as the sole candidate to succeed the late Saramateke. Kamara requested the Vice President Alupo to convey the decision of the Kisoro leaders to President Museveni. That you take this girl and hand over to the vice president, you go and hear you say you something that you will not come here to the vice. Uh, I, I, I thank you very much. Vice President retired Major Jessica Lopo, the chief mourner, represented the president. She praised Sarah for being calm and kind and gave condolences of 10 million to the family of Mateke. I had not interacted very much with Honorable Sarah Mateke. I found her to be very calm, and she didn't appear to be too sensitive, aggressive, or touchy. Earlier on, I had appointed her and others to a committee tasked with studying the issues concerning Congo. She has passed on before reporting back the committee findings. One could, one could tell that Honorable Sarah Mateke chose her words very carefully. The son to the lead thanked her mother for always advising him to pray and being good to people. My mother was literally in my heart, and her love was the foundation upon which all trust was built. I'm not the only one who can testify her wonderful love because she was a mother to all. Biologically, I was the only child, but she never gave me the chance to say I was the only one because of how many people were always at home. Losing her feels like a part of us is missing, 